Cock on! Simply God Studios! Watching a giant cookie! Um. Checking out ons! This game has an all safe feature! Don't turn off the PS4 system with the icons in the back! Fuck! Um. My title screen broke. I gotta return this game to the people that I bought it from because my title screen's broken. What's up guys, Rosie Rascal 15? I'm kidding. What is up guys, Rosie Rascal 15 here and get hyped. We are playing Resident Evil 2. The remake on my channel. Oh, Go play Resident Evil 2. You should get it right now, baby. All right, I'll stop making that Lion King reference. What's up, guys? Rosie Rascal 15. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I'm actually hyper. Um, I had a lot of sugar today, okay? I, I apologize. I don't record gameplay videos unless I'm hyper on sugar, pizza, and life. Yeah, even life gets me hype. Because nothing's more unexpected than life. All right. I want to give a big shout-out to my good friend, Sunyan Metalhead, for being supportive this week for me, saying that, Rosie, you got this. You can beat this game. Do a playthrough of it on your channel, but don't forget, your fans are still waiting for you to beat the Resident Evil Remake. I know, Sinyan Metalhead! I know! I still gotta finish the Resident Evil Remake. I know, everybody. I'm gonna finish that game on my channel, don't worry. Another big shout-out to my good friend Nightwolf. That's his nickname, by the way. It's not his actual name. It's not his birth name, so don't nobody be like, what? I got, you have a friend named Nightwolf? That's a badass fucking name. No. Uh, that's just a nickname I call him, just to protect his identity here on YouTube. Nightwolf, you let me play this game when it first came out. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you inviting me over to your house to play this game when it launched. Thank you so much. Because of that, you have taught me well. All right, here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and start the game. I'll shut up. I've been uploading a couple of videos of this game on my YouTube channel. Also, weekly challenge available uh, right there. If you guys can see on the bottom right, weekly challenge available. Press square. I'm not doing that because I don't give a shit. All right. What am I doing on this YouTube channel? I'm going to be going ahead and be playing Resident Evil 4. And I apologize if I'm annoying. I know a lot of y'all that are new to my channel are probably thinking like, God, this kid needs to shut up. If you don't like me, hey, that's cool. I don't like you either. But hey, if you want to stick around and endure the randomness that is Rosie the Rascal 15's content, and you like video games, then keep on watching. All right. I'm going to be starting a new game. Now, first thing I want to say is, I love this game. I want to get that right off the bat. I really recommend you go out and get this game. Maybe not for 60 bucks, unless you don't care. Like 60 bucks, you can, you know, 60 bucks is like chump change to you, but let's be honest, 60 bucks is not chump change to anybody. Unless you come from a very rich family. If you wipe your ass with $60, then hey, that's cool. But me, uh, uh, 60 bucks is like, I'd be even lucky to make 10 bucks, you know? Like right now, I only have $8 in my wallet, so don't judge me, okay? Your boy's broke. Leave me alone. All right. Alright, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. After you beat this game, you unlock something called the second run. But I, th this is a rant I want to get into. But, you know, I'll, I'll talk about that later in another video. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and start this game. We're going to be playing as Leon Scott Kennedy. Not Claire. Listen, if y'all demand me to play a Claire Redfield playthrough, I will do that in the future. But for now, I'm going to be playing as Leon S. Kennedy. It says, after a few days of radio silence from his new post, Leon Scott Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out. Unknowns to him, a nightmare awaits. So let's go ahead and start. Leon, again, if you guys want me to play as Claire or Leon, y'all, you know what I think I should have done? I should have did a voting poll on my YouTube channel. I should have asked if you guys wanted to see me play as Claire or Leon. I'm pretty sure the majority of you would have wanted me to play as Leon, so unless there's Claire Redfield fans. Sorry, guys, I'm not playing this on PC, so no nude mods. No nude mods. Or else my channel is going to get banned. And I'm going to officially become an age-restricted channel. Alright. I'll shut up. Let's get this started. Leon Scott Kennedy. Starting this on standard playthrough. I'm not going to do it on hardcore. I don't have balls, guys. I don't have the balls to do this one. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll do a hardcore playthrough. But I'm just going to do a standard playthrough. I'm here to have fun. Y'all want to see me rage? You're going to click on this. You're going to want me to click on this one. I'm not doing it. I'm going to be starting a standard playthrough. So you don't like it? Tough titties. Let's get into it. Alright. Raccoon City, industrial city in the heart of America, and the one Leon Scott Kenny was assigned to protect and serve as he drives towards his blaze of blood in the dim lights of a gas station catch a working cow's eye. He casually decides to make one final pit stop, stumbles head first into a terrifying new reality. <gasps> I have to read it quick because it look how long it took me to read that and it Look man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this I'm serious, man, that cheeseburger looks delicious! Damn, that shit looks good. So Wendy's 299 Junior Bacon Deluxe. Oh my god! Dude! 
That's disgusting! I don't need to see a close-up of a guy eating a cheeseburger. Oh my god. Oh, okay. It's just some truck driver. I thought it was a zombie. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? All I had was two cups of uh, juice and one Mountain Dew. Alright, I'll stop talking, guys. I'm sorry. I'm ruining the cutscene. Oh, that was a bird. What an ass. Do you see your wife like that, man? Maybe. Dude, his wife has to be probably unattractive, dude. She's probably like not. Or maybe she's just mean to him. Because, damn, dude, dissing your wife like that? Just getting good. I bet he's the kind of husband that gets annoyed when his wife just coughs. <laughs> Whoa, 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 hey, hey, dude, 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 pet cemetery. Oh, shit, dude, he just pulled a pet cemetery. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Damn, dude. That's it, man, he's going to prison. He's going to jail, son. He's going to jail. He just killed that innocent woman. Or man, it could have been a dude with long hair. I'll stop, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is serious, we just saw somebody get run over. By the way, this is live audio. This is not pre-recorded audio, just in case if anybody's wondering. Oh my god, what has he done, dude? What has he done? It's okay, man, just remember- What the- Oh shit! He better get himself a good lawyer, she's gonna sue his ass. I love Leon! He's my favorite character! Not only is he from my favorite video game of all time, Resident Evil 4, I like him! He's cool! He's funny, he's witty, he's awesome. Okay, you guys can clearly hear the fanboy coming out of me for Leon, so uh, I apologize. I'll uh, keep my Leon fanboy-ism to a minimum. Alright, alright. What, 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 what is this? He's gonna get some gas. He's gonna pick himself some Monster Energy drinks and a pack of Slim Jims. To be honest, it's real late. It looks like it's probably like midnight. Nobody's getting gas at midnight, Leon. That's weird. What's weird is you haven't paid for the gas, Leon. You can't pump gas until you pay it, you, you stupid. I didn't see him put a credit card in. Alright, I'll stop. I'll, I'll stop, guys. I know. Oh, shit. That better be barbecue sauce. Alright, alright. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Explore your surroundings. Well, I can see they're selling hamburgers, so let's get ourselves a hamburger. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Anybody there? Now, be honest, guys. If you saw a gas station, like, you know, with a, this empty of a store, would you explore it? Something's not right. You're right, Leon. Something's not right. Nobody stole all the snacks! That's bullshit. Everybody would have took all this. the All the Cheetos would be missing. All the Slim Jims. Snow cone. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. All right. All they just left were the ramen noodles. Gross. No one likes ramen noodles. Oh, God. What are you pointing at? The caution sign? Heavy door. Yes. I'm aware it's a heavy door. Okay, I'll stop, guys. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm being funny. I'm sorry. Shit. Sound effects in this game. Uh, hello. Oh hell no, dude. Hell no. What's in the freezer area? Hello? Whoa! Oh shit. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Hell. Oh, dude. Dude, they just killed Rick Grimes. He just killed Rick Grimes. That's it. Confirmed. Rick Grimes died like this. That's his cannon now. Oh shit. He didn't like I said that. Run! Oh my god! Run it! No! Yes! Oh, damn she thick! Alright, grab the key. Grab the key. Oh shit. Back up, zombie! Run, 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 run. Oh my god. Dude, I got distracted by the third girl. Alright, alright. All you're gonna do is just put the key in here. I've already played this game, by the way. I might have uh, cheated a little. I've already played this game, so... This is not... Oh god. Zombie! Dude! Dude! What the hell's going on? 
Okay, 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 relax, 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 man, relax. You're gonna have to pay for that, man. You know that, right? All right. Oh shit. Don't shoot. Get down. Got Terminator line though. Get down. Come with me if you want to leave. I've been assigned to protect you, right. John Connor. I'll stop. I'll stop. I think so. Thanks. No problem. Thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. Oh my goodness! Look at this George A. Romero shit! Alright, we gotta get out of here now. Like now. Go! Run! Oh, she has a gun too? That's pretty cool. Come on! You know what? It's America. Everybody's got a gun. What am I talking about? Everyone's got guns nowadays. Do you guys believe in the we don't call the police around here? Cause we got guns. We must be in Texas. No, I'm just kidding. I'll stop. I'll stop with the jokes. I'm sorry guys, I'm real hyper. I'm just so excited to be playing this game on my channel. Alright, we're headed to the police station. Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. You're right field. Live around here? No. Looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Wow, what a coincidence. It's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Expect the unexpected, Leon. Welcome to Raccoon City, home of umbrellas. Look at this Walking Dead intro. I'll stop, I'll stop. Alright, uh... Ooh, the city's filled with zombies. They wanna bite your butt. Shoot them in the head or you'll end up dead. Zombies are everywhere. Gonna take a shit in your underwear. Don't get scared because you have a gun. You'll have fun. I don't know what else to sing because I can't sing for shit. <laughs> I'll stop. All right. Uh, oh, oh, that's amazing. The city was inside the letter T in Resident Evil. That's that's pretty cool. All right. Um, I apologize if I'm real hyper, everybody. I know I'm. I'm I could, you probably are wondering, like, man, this guy is just. Attention. What what is he on? I'm sorry. I'm just real happy. Okay, you know, life's been good to me. All right. I'm sorry. I just I'm just excited to be playing this game on my channel. Okay, so everybody's headed to the police station, which makes sense. You would go to a police station if the city went to shit, or go to a mall. Station's not much farther. You'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones when well, there's no survivors? Watch your tongue, Claire. It's a big city. There has to be. Exactly. Let's stay positive. Come on, Claire. Get that negativity out of here. Damn, but look at all the cars, man. Jesus. This is exactly the line that was like. It's because Appendix Express recently opened in my hometown. And this was exactly how the lines looked. It was this many cars. Everybody wanted to get their orange chicken. Oh, they're having themselves a manwich. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh Jesus! Okay. Oh shit. Oh. Oh no 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 no. We don't have change. Get back. These are hobos. These aren't zombies. Oh damn, he just ran that zombie over. Who the hell? Oh, it's the truck driver from the intro. Holy shit. Get out. Get out of the car. Yeah, I was going to say, get out. What? Are you serious? How strong are those zombies? They can push back the door. Oh my Jesus. H. Christ, Jerry, Marion, Joseph, Jesus. Well. I hope the airbaggers were on. I really do hope the airbags were on. Oh shit, it's leaking gas. Run, Leon, run! It's gonna catch on fire. Okay, or explode. Uh, Leon, you wanna run? Because it's next to a, you know, a gas truck. Oh my god, that's some Michael Bay nonsense right there. You alright, Leon? Hey, I didn't see Claire get out. Is she alright? Was, was Claire okay? I don't... Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, thank God. Uh, I have a lot of Zambambos okay, heading my way. Look at the graphics, guys. All right, let's get out of here. No kidding. Run, Leon. Oh, my goodness. This is terrifying. This is like something you would see in a nightmare. Anybody have a favorite zombie movie? Type that in the comments. Uh, one of my favorite zombie Shit. movies of all time is Shaun of the Dead. It's everybody. I know that's a comedy, but hey, it's still a zombie movie. It's awesome. I love my British uh, humor. And zombies. It's British humor and zombies. It's the best of both worlds. There it is. The station. I know that's one of Sunya Metalhead's favorite zombie movies, too. Alright, we gotta make it to the Raccoon Police Department. Go, go, Leon, go, go, go. Watch out, chubby zombie. Damn! No school. No more school. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god, run, Leon, run. Run, 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 Go, man, go. We made it. Shut them gates up. Alright. Sorry, zombies, but dinner's been cancelled. You ain't midnight snacking on me. This is it. We made it to the Raccoon Police Department. Let's see how many people are inside. Wow. It's packed. Hello? Is anybody here? This is exactly what it's like when you enter a MySpace uh, account nowadays. Anybody know what MySpace is anymore? I bet all the kids are like typing, what the hell's MySpace? It was the Facebook before Facebook, believe it or not. But no one talks about that anymore. All right. So I found an F8 spray and some handgun bullets, so sweet. All right, let's take a look at this laptop here. Keep in mind, this game takes place in 1998, everybody. So this game takes place 21 years back. So this is the late 90s. I bet most of y'all weren't even born in the late 90s. Except me, I was born. I was one year old because I was born in 1997. Not good. That is not good. Well, at least there's a police officer still alive. I found a way out. It's in here. Look out, dude. Really? Shooting him in the arm? Shoot him in the head. You never seen any zombie movies? Alright. Better go meet him in the east hallway. The break room. I gotta get there. I gotta find that guy. By the way, speaking of the 90s, you want me to make this the most 90s game ever? Check this shit out, guys. You can actually... This is a free outfit, by the way. You can actually give Leon his PS1 outfit. Look at him! He looks like a Minecraft character! Let's do that for a bit. I'm just gonna keep this costume on for a bit. Just to show you guys how silly it looks. This were the graphics back in the, game, in the day, guys. These were the graphics back in the day. Look at it. I look handsome! Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and deposit my F8 spray in here. And take these two bullets with me. Let's do this! Let's do this! I look like a Minecraft character. Look at me. I look silly. Oh, dear. Look at me. All right, we gotta get here. Oh damn it! Look at me, I look silly. <laughs> look at how he holds the flashlight. It's like a Lego guy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> I can't take this shit serious. Look at me. Flashlight. Oh, this is too good. All right, don't worry. I'm gonna change the outfit back to the regular one. <laughs> Unless y'all want me to use this costume for the remainder of the game. No, I'm kidding. I'll switch to the regular outfit. This is just for shits and giggles. All right, so I picked up some handgun bullets there. I'm gonna move this locker out of the way. So yeah, I've already played this game, guys. So don't worry. I know what I'm doing, and I know that some of y'all may be disappointed. Like, oh, I was hoping for Rosie's first impressions of this game. Sorry. That's why I played the demo on my channel. That was my first impressions. If you want to see my first impression on this game, I have a demo playthrough on my channel. But I've already played this game, so I'm going to do my best to entertain you guys. So, yeah. All right, so I got an F8 spray in the women's restroom, by the way. Women's restroom, yes. Oh, my God. Look at all the dead bodies. Jesus. Yep, Open I agree, Leon. Oh. Hurry. Open up. Hold on. Relax, man. <laughs> Alright, come on, hurry here. Help him, Leon. Help him. Behold, the Minecraft character will save you. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, that poor guy, man. He didn't deserve that. Oh, that's nasty, dude. Oh. Oh, hell, dude. He dropped a book. Oh, okay, so this book has pictures of a lion, a unicorn, and somebody's waifu. All right. All right, don't worry. I'm going to switch back to the regular costume. I just wanted to show you how silly it looks in the cutscenes. All right, just go ahead and go back to the normal outfits. Yep. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, you ready? All right. All right, so we're going to have a zombie come in here. Bring it on, zombie! Oh, God. All right, here we go. Come on, you want to piece me? He's going to climb the table here. All right, stupid zombie. Ha ah, ha, you fell for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, God. They came through the windows. Oh, God. Jeez. Run, run, Leon, run. All right. Yeah, if you shoot a zombie in the head, they're stunned. Well, they're stunned. You can go ahead and run by them. If you try to run by a zombie... Without shooting it, they grab you and they'll bite you. So I recommend shooting a zombie in the head at least once. When they're stunned, you can run by them and not get bit. That's why I popped two shots on those two zombies. Oh, nice. Nice. That was that was well done. Thanks. What a nice guy. Marvin Brava. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I could Yeah. Now this guy, Marvin, he's actually Leon's boss. So yeah, his boss just saved him on his first day. I think any job that where your boss helps you out on the first day, that's a job worth keeping. Does anyone know what started this? Yeah, how did this happen? Oh, look at me in the police uniform. Start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You hear now, Leon? That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant, I'm ready. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Ellie. Yeah, the one that just got eaten. He thought this secret passageway might be the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not. Lieutenant, I'm not just going to leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just know you now. All right. Uh, That's boss here. Can't take it. Stop. All right. That's a knife, by the way. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Run. Got it? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> That's probably the best line in the entire game, that. The, if you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. That's like the most badass thing to say in a zombie apocalypse invasion. All right, so now we got the combat knife. Sweet! Now, one thing I got to mention, when you get the knife in the game, it actually has a meter. For the first time in a Resident Evil game, the knife breaks. Yes. As you can see there, there's a little meter underneath the mouse. The, I was going to say the mouse. Well, yeah, there's a mouse here. Look, there's a mouse on the screen. What the heck? Keep in mind, I'm playing this on PS4, not PC, so I don't know why they put a mouse here. Anyways, the knife has a meter, meaning it will break over time. If you guys play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you know what I'm talking about. All right. And no, I do not have a Nintendo Switch, if anybody's wondering. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go up here, and we're going to solve the first puzzle in the game. See this lion statue here? All right, check this out. So I'm gonna pull out the book here that we got from Elliot, which was the guy who got eaten. And you know, we pulled half his torso and it was nasty. All right, see this picture of the lion here? It shows a picture of a lion, a marijuana, and un pajaro, which is Espanol for a bird. So just make it look like that in the picture. So a lion, a kitty cat, uh, and then we're gonna make it uh, marijuana. And on pajaro. 
Un pájaro, señor. All right, let's go ahead and grab that medallion. Now we got the lion medallion. All right, so what you're going to go ahead and do is go back downstairs. Easy puzzle, by the way. That's so easy that even a toddler can do it in his sleep. All right. We're going to go ahead and put this over here. And notice it has three holes. Kind of like my head. All right. So put that in there. So Elliot was right. Yeah. But the passage isn't open yet. So now we got to find the other two. So we got to find two more statues and get the medallions. Put them there and it opens a secret passageway. Now that we got the knife, we can open this shutter here. Which, by the way, this is actually reused from Resident Evil 7. So, clever little Easter egg there. Pull this, and here we go. And then the funniest line Leon says. This is not how I imagined my first day. That anybody that works at a fast food joint or retail, they'll just say, this is not how I imagined my first day. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab this handgun ammo here. And uh, there's a green marijuana here. The herbs, this is your health in the game. It's just a green plant. Basically, you just, you know, a green herb partially heals your health. Because if you see the menu, that's your health bar. In the bottom left, the little heart monitor tells you how your health is. Now, there's three levels. If you played an old school Resident Evil, you know what this is. Fine means that you're good. And then caution means you've been, like, hurt. And then danger means you're about to die. So danger, caution, fine. You want to keep an eye on your heart monitor to make sure you're not dying. All right. Also, you can't see it here, but my controller is actually lighting up green. I'm playing this on PS4. So the controller, if you look at it, pay attention to it. The color will tell you how your health's doing. Like right now, my controller is fully green. And, uh, oh, I don't want to look at that. Oh, dude. Oh, that's nasty, man. I'll never eat pizza the same way again after this game. And I apologize if anybody was eating, because I'm pretty sure y'all are like, like, Rosie, that's nasty. Oh, Jesus. All right, don't worry. He's dead. He's dead. All right, as you can see, there's a claw mark here. This is a sign of an enemy that's going to come in later on in the game, but I'll explain what enemy that is. Now, as you can see, there's windows here. Now, I know what you're saying. Who cares? It's just a window. Wait, can you jump out or something? No. The reason why I bring up these windows is that later on in the game, zombies can go in through the windows in the police station. So what you got to do is you got to find boards and board up these windows. I'll show you right now, this window in front of me, a zombie's going to try to break in. Watch. See that? I have to see, you can board it up, but I don't have boards. Damn, dude. That zombie looks like Ash's sister from the Evil Dead movie. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run. And then she breaks in. Alright, so now I have to find boards to board it. Uh, board. Yeah, barricade that uh, window. Alright, alright. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Don't care. Yeah, sorry, I'm not going to read any of the files, everybody, so... I apologize if you guys want me to read the files. I'm not going to do that. Alright, I'm going to climb this window. Alright. Look at this zombie. He's trying to get his... Hey, his dollar. He's trying to get his bag of chips. I'm going to kill the zombie. Watch, I'm going to stab him with the knife here. Back up, zombie. Alright. He's not dead. Stab. Stab. See? He's not dead. He's going to get up. Watch. Oh, no. He's actually dead. Sometimes the zombies play dead. When the zombies try to play dead, uh, give them a stab like this. And if they react to it, they're still alive. Because even if you shoot a zombie in the head, they can still get up. Like right now, the zombie could get up at any second. So keep that in mind. The zombies do play dead. All right. I'm going to reload my handgun here. Now, by the way, you notice I use my knife. Look at the meter now. Notice it's depleted a bit. See, knife in the game is very useful because not only can you, uh, you know, obviously use it while, you know, hitting enemies. Usually I use the knife while the enemies are on the floor. Um, but also, if a zombie grabs you, just like in the Resident Evil remake, you can uh, use it as a defensive item. If a zombie grabs you, you can stab him with the knife. So I'm going to kill the zombie. He's still alive. Stab, 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 stab. Get down, buddy. Get down. Stab him, stab him. Is he dead? I'm going to pop one bullet in his head. Nope, he's still alive. See, he's still alive. Now he's dead. His head explodes. Oh, Jesus. That's disgusting. All right, well, he's dead. All right, so we're going to go in this door. And another zombie. What I plan to do is get rid of all the zombies here. That's why, in case you're wondering, like, Rosie, why are you wasting our ammo? I'd rather not deal with these zombies later. My strategy in a Resident Evil game is always get rid of the zombies. That way you can do the puzzles easier. Stab the zombie. He's still alive. Stab, stabby, stabby. Stabby, and then shoot him in the head. Oh god, he's coming near me. Yeah, see how they don't react to it? It's scary. 
All right, he's not reacting to the knife slashes, so he's dead. For now, unless he gets up, we don't know. If their head explodes, they won't get up. Or if you burn them, you should be good. All right, so we got some handgun ammo there. And uh, the zombie here, he's also not dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Actually, I'm just gonna shoot him. You see how he didn't react to those four handgun shots to the head? Five. Six. <laughs> Did you hear Leon? He went, what the F? I shot him six times and he's still alive. Look at him. Seven. Eight. <laughs> Bastard. So you can see why the zombies are scary in this game. Did you see how many headshots it took? That took eight handgun shots to the head. Let me stab him to make sure he's really dead. I think he's dead. He's not reacting anymore. But did you see the amount of ammo it took? Damn. All right, so here's a puzzle in the game. I, know, I think I remember the combination. I think it's seven. Uh, or wait. I think it's seven. Fifteen. And then I think twelve. Nope. Ah, I'm trying to remember it. No, I think it's... 15? No, I think it's 12? Or no, no, it's, I'm sorry. It's it's 8? 15? And I think 7? Or no, it's 9? Oh, sorry, guys. I, I'm trying to remember this. If I remember this from memory or not. I think it's 9? 15? And then 7? I actually remembered it. I am the smartest man alive, so I got the hip pouch. Now, the reason how you're able to know the combination code is they give you a hint. There'll be a file in the game, and it just flat out tells you where the code's at. But I remember that from memory. So if you remember it, hey, kudos to you. All right, here's another puzzle. I'm going to quickly explain how you do this puzzle. All you're going to do is just take the first letters of the names here. Like, uh, where is it? Like that Elliot. No, excuse me. Neil. So it's N. Edward E and the last name David so it's Ned because you take the first letter of each first name so again Neil N Elliot E and of course David where is it yeah David D so Ned so type Ned on this one on the left side here see it says rookies for assignment it says the initials of our first names so let me go ahead and put that Ned N E D I'll solve that one and I know the other one, it's MRG because uh, the names are on the floor here, see? MRG because right here, as you can see, it says Greg, or George, I'm sorry, George, and then Rita, and then Marvin. So MRG, MRG. So M, Marvin, and then Rita, and then George. MRG. And there you go. That's how you solve the first puzzle. Technically, this is the first puzzle of the game. All right, now you get a handgun clip for your Matilda. So now your handgun can carry more bullets. How many? 24, baby. Yep, that's a badass handgun. 24 bullets in the handgun. All right, so we're going to keep on going. We already killed all the zombies here for now. For now. All right, I'm going to go in here in the weapons room. And I'm going to show you something. You're going to type 106. Hit enter. It's going to open this safe. It has a roll of film. I'll explain what the roll of film does in a bit. Hit 109. There's going to be handgun ammo in there. All right. So now that's the only ones you can open. I'll explain why. Notice number two and three are gone. You have to find keys scattered in these little safes. And that will let you open these. See how this one has a two? 102. I can't get that. Or this one has a knife. 103. So you have to find the keys to open those. Can't get those right now. So I got a roll of film. And some handgun bullets. And if you go to the other side, oh, by the way, there's a shotgun in here, but you got to find a weapons key card, so can't get that just yet. And as you can see here, there's shotgun shells in 208, and in 203, there's a weapon pack. I'm sorry, side pack, which lets you carry more items, like the one I just got from the safe. All right, so we got to find those keys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go this way, and notice there's another window, and there's a zombie in there. All right, first thing I'm going to do is grab this marijuana, grab these boards, this is what I'm talking about. You find these boards in the game. All you need to do is go up to a window. And just select the board. And that's it. You board it. That way if the zombie breaks the window. He can get in. 
This will protect you, trust me. Find boards, board it up, it's worth it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is kill this lady here because she's still alive, the zombie lady. Die, zombie lady, die, I know you're faking it. All right, back up, lady. Damn, how many shots do you take? That was six bullets. Okay, I think she's dead. Whoa, shit! Oh my god, he came out of nowhere. Oh my god, that, I'm embarrassed. That was embarrassing. Oh, god damn, I didn't even know there was another zombie up here. Okay, his head exploded. His head exploded, son of a bitch. All right, don't worry. If you get bit in this game, don't worry. It's not that kind of zombie game where if you get bit, you become a zombie. If you get bit, you just use green marijuana. See there? Now I'm fine. Son of a bitch, man. <laughs> I'm so mad I got bit there. Oh, I didn't know there was another zombie up here. I must have forgot the other zombie here. All right. So if you find red herbs, uh, basically you combine them with a green, and it's a full healing item. If this is your first time playing a Resident Evil game, as you can see, look at that cool detail. Look at my arm there, or shoulder. You can see the bite mark there. Look, you can even see the drool on there. That's a cool detail. I mean, it's a creepy detail, but it's cool. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is whatever you do, do not open this locker. There is a zombie in this locker. Don't open it. So the first puzzle here you're going to do is you're going to type the word CAP. Yeah, like Capcom. Type Cap. And the reason why, again, I know the code is because you know these little rolls of film here? These give you hints of where what the combination is. If you find rolls of film, you can uh, get the combination for the lockers. But I know them because I'm smart. I have real good memory and I've played this game like five times. So confession, that's why I remember all the codes. So more shotgun shells, sweet. We got six shotgun shells. Nothing in there. Okay, and here's the portable safe I was talking about. All right, now this is a bit confusing. Fun fact, this is actually my text message sound effect, so you're gonna examine it, and it's a puzzle. All you have to do is type the buttons, and you have to, uh, it basically, it's like Simon. I'll explain, watch. Okay, I guessed it wrong. Okay, so hit one, two, three. Okay, basically, you just had to, you have to hit them in a sequence. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, oh, I almost had it. Did you see that? Oh, son of a... Okay, hang on. Son of a bitch. Okay. Mother, I had it right now. Oh, I had it right now. I'm so mad. Got it. Basically, you just hit him in a sequence. Sorry, I was quiet there because I was concentrating. Yeah, you just hit him in a sequence, and there you go. And you get a spare part. Now, that spare part, that's what you use for the keys. Remember in the weapons locker room how we needed a key? Okay, right now, we need a valve handle for this. To get past all this steam, we need to find a valve handle. So, this place is off limits for now. All right, so I'm going to go back downstairs. Don't worry, these zombies are dead. At least I hope that zombie lady's dead. All right, see, the zombie's trying to break in. Yeah, oh shit, see how he broke the window? Now he can't get in because the boards are up. See, if I didn't board this window, that zombie would have broken in. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is go over here and I will show you what I'm going to get with the key. So go over here, back to the weapons locker room, use that spare key, and just put it right there on the number two. Now, I can go ahead and hit this one, zero, two. There we go. And I think I can hit two, zero, six, I think? No, 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 it's two, I think it's two, zero, eight, actually. Two, zero, oh, wrong one. Two, zero, eight. There we go. All right, now I got the shotgun shells and, uh, what was the other item? And, uh, what is this? Oh, the gunpowder. I forgot to mention what the gunpowder does in the game. If you find gunpowder in the game, you combine them with two gunpowders, you get handgun bullets. Combine a gunpowder with yellow gunpowder, get shotgun shells. Combine two yellow gunpowders, you get magnum bullets. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go over here. And uh, go back over here, and I'm going to show you there's a save room over here. All right, and this is the save room in the game. Basically, deposit all your stuff and save your game, because if you die, you have to reset from the last auto save. If you're playing this on standard difficulty. If you're playing on a hardcore, you actually have to manually save and find ink ribbons. All right, so shotgun shells, I'm going to put them in there because I don't have the shotgun. Herb, don't need it now. I'm going to keep the F8 spray. I'm going to show you what you're going to do with the roll of film. 
So remember we picked up a film of a film of roll. Yeah, a roll of film, excuse me. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, red herbs in here as well. Nice. Alright, so you take the roll of films out. You can only take the roll of films here. In this room only. Take the roll of film, develop it here, and there you go. Here's a hint for a puzzle. As you can see, it's the statue of uh, Dumbledore from Harry Potter holding a book and um, some kind of ring pop. So that's a hint about a puzzle you got to do later on. All right, and I'm going to open these lockers, see what's in here. Nice, gunpowder. And handgun bullets, nice. All right, we're doing good so far. All right, that's going to conclude today's part. If you guys like the playthrough, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and share button. All right, everybody, have a great one. Hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Resident Evil 2 Part 1, the Leon Kennedy playthrough. All right, take care, guys. Have a great one, and uh, I will see you guys in the next Rosa Rasco 15 video. If you guys want me to continue this video game, please leave in the comments, yes, Rosie, continue this series. If this video gets more than 10 likes within, a, within three days, no, no, I'll do this. Within one week, if this video gets more than 10 likes, I will continue this game. So give it 10 likes, everybody. Give us more than 10 likes, I will do a part two right away. But I got to hit 10 likes. If y'all want to see more of this, let me know. All right, everybody, have a good one. God bless. And uh, hopefully I'll get eaten by more butt-eating zombies. What? All right, guys, take care. Bye.